Hi guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. We're looking in on the All Natural bin and we're going to see what they're doing. Last time we looked in on these guys, they were really wet and mucky, so I left the lid off. Now it looks super dry. I tell you, it's hard to win sometimes. Let's see what these guys are doing. So the principle of this bin is to just see what the worms would do without adding a whole lot of people food like I normally do. Now I put European night crawlers in here and uh, because they're known for eating leaf litter and whatnot and I thought they would probably thrive the best on this kind of food. And it looks like there are cocoons that have been hatched and it looks like the worms are, you know, still pretty healthy. It doesn't look like they're going hungry, does it? But this is pretty dry. So I'm going to have to do something about that, definitely. Uh, it's going to have to rain in the uh, all natural bin, for sure. Well, it looks like I've found most of the worms. I think I started out with 20 um, European night crawlers. I'll put below. But this is definitely uh, the dry season in the natural bin. So let's get them some water and have, make it rain. Okay, it's going to be a downpour. Oh no, it's, it's a tsunami in the worm bin. Uh, let's kind of incorporate that in and see if we need to add more. Uh, tornado? Is this, is this me being a tornado? I do live in the Midwest, and it does make lots of messes when the tornadoes and the windstorms come here. So maybe, maybe that, I don't know. It seems like it might be enough if I put the plastic on top of it. Um, but let's, let's see. So we found the worms. I'm not finding any of the fallen food uh, that I put in there before, like uh, I think it was a piece of melon or something. Uh, but I think once I put a lid on this or put something over the top of it, I think this will do pretty good as far as keeping the moisture here. Um, but let's get them some natural food this time. And this is just uh, weeds and twirlers from the yard. And uh, I think, well, here's kind of like a baby worm. Well, juvenile, juvenile worm. And uh, so hopefully he will get the point and uh, decide that once these things get turned in, that they will be good things to eat. There's twirlers from the maple, so I think that'll give them you know, a little bit more substance than just normal leaves, perhaps, because there's the twirlers, and then I found some more leaves, and then here's a one of our favorite things. I don't pull them in the, in the early spring because I want the bees to have something to eat, but, you know, once everything else comes into bloom, the dandelions do get pulled in my yard. So I'm not sure what all of that is. I'll break up that leaf. But, yeah. So we're going to blend this back in. And so, you know, this is kind of an experiment to see, you know, like, what if I don't have anything to feed the worms? Can I just give them stuff from in my yard? And uh, so far, so good. The worms seem to be ha happy and healthy. Uh, let me know if you have a bin that you keep outside or inside that has uh, simil similar parameters to this. Uh, let me know how it does. Uh, this is part of my experimental series of my worm bins, and I have a playlist that I can link right there. If you're liking this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.